graphical representation of motion. In this module, you will be introduced to the graphs of different types of motion. Let us plot the distance time graph for an object, say a car at rest. The slope of a distance time graph provides the speed of an object. For an object at rest, the distance does not change with time and therefore the distance time graph is a straight horizontal line parallel to the time axis. A car moving with a uniform speed. An object is said to be moving with a uniform speed if it travels equal distances in equal intervals of time. The distance time graph of an object moving with a uniform speed is a straight line with a positive slope. The higher the speed of the object, the greater the slope of the graph. A car moving with a uniform acceleration. The slope of a velocity time graph provides the acceleration of an object. The greater the slope, the higher the acceleration. The velocity time graph of an object moving with a uniform acceleration is a straight line with a positive slope. A car moving with a uniform retardation. The velocity time graph of an object moving with a uniform retardation or negative acceleration is a straight line with a negative slope. In this module you've learned the slope of a distance time graph provides the speed of an object. The distance time graph of an object moving with a uniform speed is a straight line with a positive slope. The speed time graph of an object moving with a constant speed is a straight line parallel to the time axis. The distance time graph of an object moving with a varying or non-uniform speed is a curved line or a random curve. The slope of a velocity time graph provides the acceleration of an object. The velocity time graph of an object moving with a uniform acceleration is a straight line with a positive slope. The velocity time graph of an object moving with a uniform retardation or negative acceleration is a straight line with a negative slope.